We are all set here. It is Mexico City. And it's lights out and away we go. Leclerc gets away well, as does Vettel and Hamilton and Verstappen. They're all in the same order as now Vettel tries to pull into the slipstream of his teammate, Lewis Hamilton, getting squeezed onto the grass, and that's cost him a bit. And he's alongside Max Verstappen. Alex Albon keeping ahead of the two McLarens. Charles Leclerc into turn one, ahead of Vettel, Verstappen on the inside, and Hamilton is forced a little bit wide. And they're all getting into contact with each other. Hamilton and Verstappen are on the grass. The two McLarens now ahead of Valtteri Bottas as well. Those soft tyres helping their start. Lewis Hamilton's not had the greatest getaway and he is already is Hamilton down in fifth place and Verstappen way down the field so they were clattering together and still more close contact there and uh, that's Verstappen wide again in turn five chaos in the early corners. Verstappen lost out to the Toro Rosso and Norris in the McLaren. Sainz got ahead of Hamilton as well. Leclerc continues to lead ahead of Sebastian Vettel. And Albon up to third place then in the sister Red Bull. Hamilton really got squeezed here, Martin, by uh, Sebastian Vettel. Yeah, Vettel had him on the grass and uh, that's why Verstappen was up the inside. Yeah, they were just wandering around. Yes, they, they weren't really fully engaged. They were just swinging around, trying to avoid each other, having to take to the grass. Now, these are the two Ferraris. Didn't see anything fly off Leclerc's car. But it was the front of the front wing against the rear face of his right rear tyre. It wasn't end fence to sidewall. And there is a very nice move from Max Verstappen that's got the crowd on their feet in the Foro Sol. He is ahead of Valtteri Bottas. And you don't normally see cars getting past at that corner. Have you ever seen anybody overtaking a similarly competitive no. car into the hairpin? Not off the top of my head. Did he catch Valtteri Bottas napping or did he just think, I'm going to go for this and we'll see what happens. Bottas is coming back at him though. This is a brilliant tussle. And under DRS there, Valtteri Bottas has got Max Verstappen back. He looks like a bright rear puncher, Max. Bright rear puncher. That so. could be where he picked up the puncture because he then was yeah. quite easily passed by Bottas down the straight. It's the sidewall. It's the sidewall issue. That's the one that's vulnerable. Out of the peril side and down towards turn one. Perez is on the inside. Has he got Danny Kriat? I will let Mexico City give you the answer on that one, and it's very much the affirmative. Hard tyre as well for Lando Norris. So all the data that the teams... Oh, is that uh, Ted down to you? Left, front left isn't on, front left no. isn't on. Oh, I no. can see it from the guy, the mechanic, knew it wasn't on, but Lando got the green light. So let's just have a little look here. The front left was a bit slow going off and it wasn't properly on. And you can see as he pulls out there. Charles Leclerc is committed to a two-stop strategy here. Mercedes will be quite pleased about this. Hamilton went straight into a 20.6. He's just done a purple middle sector. He's clearly got plenty of grip. That is Max Verstappen's contact uh, with the Haas of uh, Kevin Magnussen. Right, got you to my wing. We just turned in on me. Can Hamilton take these hard compound tyres to the end of the race at good pace? Or will Leclerc come back at him? Leclerc will now almost certainly have to overtake him on the track to beat Hamilton. The battle for 12th place behind them. Sebastian Vettel is coming up a little bit faster as well. Gazzi, oh, he thought he got the job done, but late breaking from Carlos Sainz there keeps him ahead only just by, what, a few inches. Gasly will get great drive out of turn three, but actually so is the McLaren. Yeah. Gasly gets DRS and the Sainz will have to defend the left-hand side of the racetrack, otherwise the Toro Rosso will be there. And there it is on cute. He's gone in a bit deep, you can get away with that. And now he's riding, oh. it's the leader, they're right in the way of the leader, getting blue flags a good measure. And I just had a feeling that this battle, uh, Sebastian Vettel was going to arrive at at the wrong time, and he has definitely lost a couple of seconds, Sebastian Vettel there, by having to slam on the brakes as hard as he did important stop here for Sebastian Vettel. But they have to put those on. They can't put the mediums on again, Martin, because that's no. committing to a two-stopper. The softs aren't going to last. It has to be the hards. Oh, absolutely. Ferrari are going to make this pit stop now because it's too, it's too early to put a set of soft compound tyres on. And they can't run the mediums again because they committed then to a three-stop oh, strategy. But what's on. happened at the rear? Charles Leclerc stuck for way longer than he would have wanted. He's lost four seconds in his pit stop, and that is very bad news indeed. 
DRS wide open in the slipstream of Sergio Perez. Down the inside goes Danny Ricardo, locks up, goes too wide, has to go onto the grass. That will be loved by every single person here who's not wearing yellow and black, but he still comes out ahead of Perez, then gives the place back. Uh, was a lasting advantage if he'd have stayed ahead. Uh, Perez lives to fight another day in seventh place. We're on board with Danny Kriat. Have they made contact here? Kriat trying to make a move down the inside, and that's taken two championship points away from Renault and has absolutely wrecked Nico Hulkenberg's afternoon. Hamilton comes home to win the Mexico Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel finishes in second place. Valtteri Bottas keeps the title fight alive with third. Charles Leclerc comes home for fourth for Ferrari. It's Mercedes Ferrari, Mercedes Ferrari. Hamilton wins in Mexico. And Lewis Hamilton onto the top step of the podium, rising to the cheers of the fans. And Valtteri Bottas, third in the race, means that the Drivers' Championship is not decided here in Mexico. It's been another fabulous weekend of Formula One action. The title rolls on to Austin in a week's time. Lewis Hamilton wins today, needs four more points for a sixth world title.